Side note, I have some allergies, so if I sound weird during this video, that's why. But anyway, on with the video. J. G. R. In modern video games, shooting stuff's pretty common, but you probably wouldn't expect it like this. The NES Zapper was originally released in Japan as a revolver-style zapper, but because US actually has guns, they changed it to a more toy-like design. Personally, I prefer the NES Zapper over the Famicom Zapper. It looks cooler, it looks space age-like. So we talked about the history of the Zapper, let's talk about the Zapper and how it feels in the hand. The NES Zapper is a handgun style toy. It has the standard two prongs in the back and one prong in the front that every pistol has. It feels nice and comfortable and the trigger, which a little clicky, is fine. Another thing I like to mention is that the Zapper has two versions. The earlier 1985 version, the gray version, and the later 1987 orange version. The versions are basically identical, except for a color change. The reason why the colors were changed was due to new toy law regulations, saying that they couldn't look too realistic. Personally, I prefer the gray one, but there's no difference between the gray one and the orange one. They're both basically identical, so catch whichever one you want. So, let's talk about the most iconic light gun game of all time, Duck Hunt. Let's just stick it in the NES, and we'll be ready to do some hunting. A little side note I like to mention is if you point the zapper not at the screen, you can change the menus. It's kind of hard to show in the game captures, so I wanted to mention it beforehand. So let's talk about the gameplay. Duck Hunt has three game modes. One duck, two ducks, and clay shooting. Let's start off with one duck. One duck has, well, one duck. You have three shots to successfully kill the duck. You'll get 500 points if you get the duck. But if you fail to get the duck, your hunting dog will laugh at you. Which is the most insulting thing a dog has ever done. No wonder how many people in the 80s wanted to shoot the duck hunt dog to vent their anger at him. But anyway, the white ducks represent what ducks you had not hit or have not hit yet. The red ones represent the ones you had hit. If you don't hit enough of them, you'll game over. But if you do, you'll continue on to the next round. So that's game mode A. Game mode B is basically exactly the same. The only difference is that there's two ducks instead of one, which makes it harder to collect both ducks, because instead of having two follow-up shots if you miss, you only have one follow-up shot, which makes it harder to complete the round. So game mode A and game mode B are pretty similar. So what is game mode C? Game mode C is clay pigeons. Just like in real life, Clay pigeons go farther away when they're tossed, making it harder to shoot them. There's two clay pigeons on screen at any time, and they change the bullets from the brownish color in game mode A and B to this new silver color in game mode C. Game mode C is a real challenge compared to game mode A and game mode B. I recommend this one if you get bored of shooting ducks. A lot more challenging than the other two game modes. So, what is the rating of Duck Hunt? The rating of Duck Hunt is... Drumroll please! A 8.5 out of 10. A game that is best enjoyed in short bursts. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like to Joe's Game Reviews, and bye. Bye!